you take low dose naltrexone every day. Majority of the time you take it at bedtime, but it doesn't cure anything. What it does is it tricks your body into using its natural or normal mechanisms to then basically heal itself. So when a woman has endometriosis and there's a lot of inflammation, that inflammation isn't necessarily just surrounding the uterus. It can definitely involve the fallopian tubes, the ovaries, and sometimes adhesions to other organs. When there's interruption of normal pathways of how the brain will signal the ovaries to select a, an ovum, to then mature that ovum, and then pop that ovum out of the ovary, and that's called ovulation, what's left behind is called the corpus luteum. And so imagine that as the rind of an orange. So when you peel the orange, you eat the orange, but you leave the rind behind. So that rind or the corpus luteum is what's supposed to produce a lot of hormones, specifically progesterone. And if we have fertilization of the ovum of the egg, then that corpus luteum will produce enough progesterone to then help support that, that embryo to grow. But when it's not fertilized, then you have this normal cycle of, of bleeding, and that's called a menstrual cycle. Well, when the hormones are out of whack, so in other words, you don't make enough progesterone, you have a little too much estrogen running around because she really enjoys her sister progesterone to be right by her side to make sure that she is behaving appropriately. But when we don't make enough progesterone, we make extra, or sorry, extra testosterone. So with that, testosterone can then be further metabolized to estrogen. So that gets us completely off kilter. Sometimes the cycles will be close together. Sometimes they will be long and heavy. Sometimes they'll be further apart. So we need to get back to that balance of evaluating where are you at with estrogen, testosterone, progesterone, and even DHEA. But what low-dose naltrexone will do is to help um, modulate that system so that it will be easier to find that new balance. And it will also reduce the inflammation and definitely the pain associated with that, with that whole menstrual cycle, with that whole um, cascade of events that happen on a cyclical basis.